Hey, so this video is on spinal compression. I get a lot of questions, and one of the questions I got today, which usually I cover in all my videos when I'm doing a presentation on our program, the last exercise that we do is called a chair pull. And the chair pull is done to create compression on the spine. And the question I got is, hey, in, question, in exercise number nine, he put, but it's number eight, we only have eight exercises, it seems like the pull would be creating compression on the spine, which makes it a little scary since I've always read the opposite. Lengthen, not compression. Can you provide more detailed insight on how the chair pull is beneficial? Okay, so in our program, the whole program is designed for decompressing the spine. The last exercise that we do is a spinal compression exercise. And so compression is absolutely essential and necessary for a healthy back. Without compression, your spine would not develop the way it does and it'd become weak, unstable, and you'd have extremely worse spine than you do now. So bed rest is actually one of the worst possible things that can be recommended for the back because it's not getting the compression that's necessary. So just standing is giving your spine compression. Now, it's correct that lengthening or decompressing the spine is key, but when you really dive deep into the science of the spine, that's when we have come up with our formula that's why it's so powerful because we decompress the spine, we get the blood flow, nutrients, and oxygen to the area, and then during our last movement, we do a specific movement that has to keep the spine in alignment. If it's not in alignment, then it can cause more damage because if you round your back, now you can cause the disc to protrude. Whereas if the spine is in alignment and we compress down, blood flow exchanges in and out of the area where the discs and the nerves are and it can actually pull the discs back into place when you release from the compression. Synovial fluid is activated by compression. Synovial fluid is what gets nutrients and blood flow and lubricates the joints. So it's extremely important to have compression. This is why weightlifting is so important. This is why manual, manual labor, manual things to the body, compression and weight on the body makes it stronger and harder. This has to do with how you do it. That's why in our program, we do specific step-by-step -step ways to get to exercise eight because it's a formula. And if it's not done in that way, then the results won't be there. So the chair pull is basically an exercise where you sit on a chair, you either grab a strap or the edge of the chair, you're pulling up while pushing your butt down and pushing your heels down. You can find it in many of my other videos. Maybe we'll put a a little video up where you can see it while this is playing. And essentially, force is going up and down in the same direction, right? If their force is not in the same direction, then that's gonna create torque. And torque is what we don't want on the spine. So we're pulling up and down in the same direction. The force is in the same uh, vertical line. Therefore, the spine is in alignment. It creates like an accordion, a little bit of compression on the discs. When the compression happens on the discs, this is where the magic occurs. When we've decompressed the spine, we got all the blood flow, nutrients, and oxygen to the area, and then we come in and we do the compression, this is where the disc can actually be pulled back into place. The nerves will now be in the proper spot, the muscles will now be warmed up and getting all the nutrients and blood flow from the nerves in the spine, and the spine will get the energy and blood flow and oxygen that it needs. So this is a great question. Does the spine need compression? Yes, it absolutely needs compression. It's essential for the health and longevity of your back. There's many exercises that I can recommend. Our back program is just the beginning. Our back program is for somebody who's currently in pain, but it's also for people who've never had back pain who just want to start to stabilize, strengthen, gain flexibility, mobility, etc. Once you're, you're, you've done our back program, 
you can now move to next levels with more confidence, more reassurance that you're building strength and protecting your spine. And remember, if your spine is not mobile and flexible, then there's a direct correlation between the length of your life and vitality and the flexibility and mobility of your spine. So good spine hygiene is essential. That's what this channel is about. If you haven't done our back program, I highly recommend it. Go ahead and click that link below in the description, get started. And from there, once you've done this program from three to six weeks, depending on where you're at, I would highly recommend moving to a basic strength and conditioning program from there where you're moving correctly and the proper movements will absolutely be life-changing for you just as this program is. I hope this is enjoyable. I hope you had a great day.